Hello and thank you for tuning in to DITV this Friday. I'm Emily Callahan. Data released this morning shows more than 20 million jobs have been removed from payrolls nationally in April. The national unemployment rate has jumped to 14.7%, the highest we've seen since the Great Depression. Iowa's unemployment rate for April has not yet been released, but according to Iowa Workforce Development, unemployment in the month of March at 3.7% was 1% higher than at this time last year. In March, the national unemployment rate was at only 4.4%. With the official unemployment rate still not yet released, Iowa has seen a huge jump in unemployment claims this month, with tens of thousands of initial claims filed each week and 181,358 continued weeks claimed as of May 2nd. For reference, this time last year, there were about 2,000 initial claims each week and 15 to 20,000 continued weeks claimed. Iowans can expect their unemployment rate for the month of April to make a significant jump, much like the national average. According to a Washington Post ISPIS nationwide poll, 77% of workers believe they will be rehired by their former employers as the economy reopens. However, some economists predict that 40% of job losses could be permanent. Iowa is trying to face these challenges head on with an efficient but safe reopening of the state. In her press conference yesterday, Governor Reynolds said, quote, just as we can't stop the virus completely, we also can't keep businesses closed and our lives restricted indefinitely, end quote. Many more businesses are reopening today with Governor Reynolds announcing yesterday that dentists, campgrounds, drive-in movie theaters, tanning facilities, and medical spas can reopen while following public health guidelines, as well as malls and retail stores at 50% capacity. Thank you all for tuning in today and have a great weekend, everybody. For DITV, I'm Emily Callahan, signing off.